going on guys welcome back to the channel um, I know it's only been a few weeks since I did another one of these recent pickups but I've gotten so much recently that I figured I'd go ahead and get some out of the way before they stack up too much I do have some DVDs mixed up in here just because I feel like they're worth talking about I usually won't include the DVDs that I pick up but if I feel like they're worth talking about, then I, I will show them. Got some Blu-rays, got some DVDs, so let's get straight to it, and let's see what I've picked up recently. Coming up first is the My Bloody Valentine Steelbook, uh, Scream Factory Steelbook. Obviously, I did the My Bloody Valentine review for Valentine's Day, so I picked this one up at Vintage Stock so that I could watch it. Uh, it's a pretty cool steelbook. It's got a cool front cover if you guys haven't seen it. So obviously one big picture like most steelbooks are of the scene of him dragging the body. Comes with both uh, theatrical and uncut versions. I watched the uncut and I think that is the way to go with this one. It had some amazing kills in there. Um, obviously I have my review up so if you guys are interested go check that video out. Uh, but I, I enjoyed it. I won't say more than that. Go check out my review. Good movie. Next up, we have Alien vs. Predator Requiem. I picked up this Blu-ray because obviously I'm doing the Alien franchise review, and this is one of them that I could not find on any streaming platform, so I had to go to my local vintage stock and pick this one up. Uh, luckily, it wasn't hard to find at all. They had it right there on a rack on uh, staff picks or staff recommendations, so got really lucky with that one. And I actually just now got done watching this, so I'm actually gonna record the review right after I'm done with this video but I will save my thoughts for that. AVP Requiem. Next up we got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the 2007, I believe, remake. Um, or no, I'm way off, 2003 remake, sorry. Went mind blank there, but just rewatched this one last night. Um, I've been wanting to rewatch this movie for a long time, so I went ahead and picked up the Blu-ray whenever I came across it at Vintage Stock, and uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, had a lot of nostalgia factor because I watched this one as a kid. I was born in 2003, so obviously I didn't watch it when I was born, but whenever I was, I don't know, eight, nine years old, watched this one. But yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. It's a great Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, I don't really get the hate on it. The only big complaint I have on this movie is that it doesn't feel like the 70s. It feels like the early 2000s, but I can kind of let that one slide because I already have a 70s Texas Chainsaw Massacre that's one of my favorite horror movies of all time. So I can let this one slide with that just for being different. And it's definitely a scary Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Probably the scariest portrayal of Leatherface by far. And yeah, it's just a fun slasher movie. I, I'm glad to own this one and I will probably rewatch it a lot more now that I do. I think this is my most recent pickup. Um, it's the Knives Out. Uh, I think it's Walmart exclusive slip cover. It's got the normal cover on the front. And I saw this one at Walmart and I couldn't pass it up because it was only like $9. And I obviously knew about the hype when this movie was coming out. I just didn't interest me at the time because I was into other stuff. But finding it this cheap at Walmart, I had to pick it up. It's got Jamie Lee Curtis, Daniel Craig, Chris Evans, just stacked cast. Um, it's supposed to be kind of like a comedy riff off of mystery movies, uh, mystery films, stuff like that. So. This should be a fun watch whenever I have some free time to watch something other than horror movies uh, or YouTube stuff. So looking forward to check that one out. I love Jamie Lee Curtis, obviously, so that's what I'm excited for mostly. And there you go, Knives Out. It's a pretty cool cover, too. I'm not sure what the sweater implies. I'm sure people who've seen it know, but pretty cool slipcover. Next up, we have War of the Planet of the Apes. And yes, the slipcover is messed up. This is a pre-owned. Uh, so I was pretty bummed about that, but I had to pick it up because um, I plan on watching these movies before the new one comes out. I've watched the first one. I still haven't got around to watching uh, the second one, but went ahead and picked this one up because it's not on a streaming platform. And I can already tell you it's going to be one that I'm, I want to own, and I'll probably end up buying the first two as well. So pick this one up for uh, the new one coming out. Yeah, there you go, War of the Planet of the Apes. Haven't seen it yet. So that's all the Blu-ray pickups that I have uh, for today in this video. Um, I have a couple DVDs. Okay, actually I lied because I completely forgot that I bought this and I put it right up there with the other box sets that I have uh, and forgot about it, but I found the Critters Collection at Vintage Stock at a discounted price because it was slightly used. And I've been wanting this set for a while. It has the first four. The only one it doesn't have is Critters Attack because it came out after this box set was made, I think. 
but anyway I've been wanting this one I've only seen the first critters and this is very possibly the next review series I do after I finish alien I'm gonna make a video where you guys can vote which one I do I'm gonna pick like two or three then I'll just post different polls on all the platforms that I have and tally them up and see which one I should do next but this is definitely gonna be a contender because I got this box set so Critters Scream Factory box set. It's a good looking box set and I've been wanting it for a while. So went ahead and picked it up for like $29, I think. So good deal. Now getting into the DVDs. And I have quite a bit here and I wanted to talk about them because I feel like they're worth talking about. First up, I got the Die Hard collection. Uh, Die Hard is a movie that I've been wanting to watch forever and I just kept procrastinating on it. Uh, it's a lot of people's favorite action movie of all time and now I understand why. It was a blast of an action movie. I loved it. I loved every scene of it and definitely worth the buy. And this was at a good price at Walmart. So I just went ahead and bought the whole collection. So I'm looking forward to uh, watching the sequels. From what I've heard, most of the sequels are good. I think the only one that is widely known to be horrible is the last one, which is A Good Day to Die Hard. It came out in 2013. That's the only one that I hear people uh, like everybody that talks about Die Hard say that is horrible, so looking forward to check out most of the sequels and we'll see, but Die Hard Collection. I'm gonna end off on that one actually, so next up we have Wes Craven's The Hills Have Eyes. I've been wanting a copy of this for a long time because I love Wes Craven and I love The Hills Have Eyes. Um, I love the story behind this movie and I love the actual film itself. I love the vibes, the desert vibes, the cannibal family vibes, the secluded family and the camper vibes uh, everything about this movie I love it it's just pure indie low budget horror which is just my type of thing I think there is a blu-ray release of this movie I think Arrow Video put out one but it's super expensive and I probably will get it one day but I figured why not just go ahead and get it on DVD for the time being because it's literally one of my favorite horror movies and I need a copy of it so went ahead and got the DVD um, it's still like a collector's edition it has quite a bit with it it's a two disc set, it's got the feature film and then a bunch of extras, which I've already watched all of it. it has some pretty cool interviews with Wes Craven and the cast and uh, producers, writers, stuff like that. So cool one to check out if you guys haven't seen Wes Craven's The Hills Have Eyes, definitely check it out if indie horror is your type of thing because it's a must see. Then I got curious because these were right next to it, so I'll just show them together. I got The Hills Have Eyes remake and the Hills Have Eyes 2, the, re the sequel to the remake. Um, I got these out of curiosity because I've heard good things about them and I've wanted to check them out for a while. I've never seen them and I've watched the first one which I liked. It was good, it had really good gore, it had really good characters, it was directed very well. My only complaint with it is when it gets to the part where the family first initially gets attacked, just like the original film, it's almost a shot-for-shot shot remake, which I wasn't a fan of. Um, it was a little bit updated on the gore and stuff like that, but other than that, it was like a shot-for-shot shot remake, so I didn't really like that part. Everything else, it was a good horror movie, and I will rewatch it. It's it's very good, very, very modernly updated, and will appeal to more of the younger audiences like me, but obviously I'm weird. I like the 70s stuff better, so every other younger person, I mean, when I said that, um, the second one I have not watched yet. Uh, I'm actually weird. I, I popped it in and I watched the uh, extra special features like behind the scenes because I read that it had a uh, interview with uh, Wes Craven and him and his, him and his son wrote this movie. So I was very intrigued to watch the special uh, special features. So I popped it in just watched the special features and I didn't watch the movie. So I'm looking forward to watching the movie, but I had to watch those interviews. So. Looking forward to this one. Really liked this one. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. Hills have eyes. Last but not least, one of my most exciting picks, and I was so shocked when I found this in Walmart. The Trimmers Collection. I've never seen this at Walmart. I didn't even know this was a thing. And I'm kind of bummed because I think there's a Blu-ray version of this, and I would have picked that out if I would have known about it. But I'm still happy to own this one. I love the Trimmers movies, especially the first two and I have a lot of fun with the others, but the first Tremors is one of my favorite horror movies of all time with Kevin Bacon. Uh, Tremors 2 is just a blast of a B movie. I love that movie uh, with all my heart, 
and then three is really enjoyable for me i really enjoy four after that it gets a little rocky but i still have some dumb fun with some of those and then it also comes with a trimmers tv series i don't know if you can see it at the end there i think it's right there a trimmers tv series which i have never heard of in my life so as if i wasn't already solidified on buying this whenever i read that i definitely had to buy it so i can't wait to check that series out because i didn't even know it existed and trimmers is one of my favorite series of all time so trimmers if you haven't seen it go watch the first one for sure and then if you dig that one definitely check out the second one because if you like the first one you will like the second one so trimmers there you go so that is everything that i've picked up recently on blu-ray and dvd let me know what you guys have picked up recently uh, what you guys are collecting what kind of phases you're in right now and let me don't let me know down in the comments and we'll have some combo about it uh, i love talking with other collectors so let me know what you guys have got recently and i will see you in the next one